Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Agrawal's bionic eye consists of a chip fitted behind the retina. He has founded a non-governmental group called Retina India to carry out the research. It has been used by 37 patients in the US and Europe, who were completely blind for 25 to 30 years. Some have walked across a zebra crossing. Make your mark, take our lead. A bionic eye could restore sight to the blind and greatly improve robotic vision, but current visual sensors are a long way from the impressive attributes of nature's design. Now researchers have found a way to mimic its structure and create an artificial eye that reproduces many of its capabilities. Take our lead. The Argus 2 system can restore some vision in people made blind by retinitis pigmentosa. The patient wears a pair of glasses with a small video camera mounted on it, which captures images. Retinitis pigmentosa causes a slow loss of light-sensitive retinal cells. Make your mark, take our lead. 1. Transplantation of the whole retina per se, is presently not available. 2. Macular translocation surgeries are being performed with fairly decent results, and are used in patients of ARMD or macular disease. Make your mark, take our lead. Researchers developed a more robust electrode material, platinum gray, to address those concerns. Arevalo noted that one limitation to the device is its reliance on a viable optical nerve. Many blind people don't have a functioning optical nerve and are ineligible for the surgery. Make your mark, take our lead. Bionic lenses are another option, but they are not usually for people with vision loss. Instead, they offer improvements in vision for those who already wear contact lenses or eyeglasses. Several companies are working on developing bionic lenses, all of which use slightly different technology and approaches. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.